everyone Maxine here welcome to my channel today we are taking a look at our altered book and we have um, a lot of the decorating is done tags journaling cards did a little bit of decorating on there um, I have journaling cards inside these side pockets. Did a little decorating on, on the pocket there. We'll put a tag in. Here's uh, some more decoration. This is actually a digital of a collage that I made. Did some decorating here, another um, journaling card, some tags, pocket, a little side pocket with a journaling card. So, more pockets, there's a journaling card and a tag. In there. It's an envelope. This one I left so you could fold it out and you could use it for a writing space or you could glue it closed and use, use it for an envelope. It's another tag journaling space on it with a little bit of lace another side pocket with a journaling card in it so yeah almost finished with this now what i've done to the outside is just put one coat of gesso white gesso on it so that's where we are right now. And um, I don't really have a, uh, um, an idea. <laughs> Just kind of going with it. I have some paints here. Um, this is like one of those sample paints you get at Lowe's. I don't even know what color that was. Um, here's um, a color that looks like something I mixed up myself. So, kind of a green look to it. Here is a copper kettle. Um, it's kind of a paste, copper color paste. And then I have shoe polish. <laughs> this is great stuff. This is what I use to get the leather look on um, paper. It's really cool. So, you know, that's what we have. So, let's... Uh, I don't know. Let's just start and see what happens, huh? Yeah, one of these. These popsicle sticks are really good. I mean, you could get them at the dollar store, and you know, a whole package of them, and they're they're really nice to have. Um, they do a lot of things. Stir things up. <laughs> um, spread things out so let's just let's just put some paint down huh see what happens so I don't really have a an agenda here <laughs> I don't know sometimes the best results or when you don't have a plan I'm just gonna put this right in this one and kind of 
mix it up a little bit. See what we get here. So I don't think I want to, you know, like totally cover it. I also thought about doing some stamping on this too with black. So that, I'm gonna keep that in mind too. So yeah, these uh, sample little things of paint that you can get at Lowe's or I suppose they have them at Home Depot. Um, they're really, you know, they're not bad. I, I don't remember what the price was, but it didn't seem like it was very much. Three or four dollars maybe. Um, you know, when you compare that to how much acrylic paint costs at the art store. <laughs> well, you know, this ends up being a pretty good, pretty good deal <laughs> um, when you look at it that way. You know, and you could start out, I mean, you know, the colors vary and change what they have as their samples. So, you know, you can, you know, build up one or two of them a month or something like that and you know, have a nice nice variety I mean you'd want to just get the colors you like and that kind of thing but you'd I think you'd have a nice variety of of colors and if I'm right about the price then that's, that's a, quite a bit cheaper than you would find. Okay, so I wonder if it would be better if I turn that light off. Is that any better? Or is that worse? You can see the colors. Yeah. I don't know. I am um, not happy with the lighting in my new new location here. It's not quite as good as what I had. Okay, so that's already drying. So, um... Should we try any of this, I wonder? Or maybe we should leave well enough alone, huh? <laughs> Let's see what happens. See, I usually do this a little different, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Let's see. Well, let's see, I got a, a dry wet wipe here. Let's kind of smoosh that around a little bit. Hmm. Put some more on there. Put some there. Well, that's not quite dry yet. There's a little bit more paint there. 
these wet white wipes really come in handy whether you're you know you're using them wet or whether you allow them to dry uh, they come in quite handy so how's everyone doing I hope everyone is well and uh, having time for crafting <laughs> and uh, you know have uh, enjoyed this little project I hope you're you're crafting along with me maybe you've uh, already gotten done and with the problems I had with uh, moving my my studio and losing power and the ice storm and <laughs> everything else this little project has uh, taken a lot more time than I had originally planned for it to but you know that's the way things go huh okay so yeah let's that's not bad. See how the back turns out before we do the front. <laughs> That's not bad at all, is it? Kind of like that. Okay, well, we're going to let that dry and uh, see what happens. Okay, we're back. I used my heat gun and dried that, so now it's nice and dry. And I'm going to try a little bit of this copper. Oh, let's see here. Get a paper towel. Get some. And let's see. What do we want to do? Go on the edge here. This is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of waxy, almost. It's something I've had for a long time. I don't even know why I originally bought it. You know, it's like with so many things we find around the house. It's like, oh, I could use that for <laughs> in my studio. <laughs> So, this stuff is, you know, it's not wet or anything. It's just kind of like a, like a wax paste or something. There. There. Hmm. Got a little bit too much of the shoe polish right there, so I... Put some of this over it and kind of... There, that's good. I'm not sure about the spine. Might want to cover that later. Okay, so put the lids on everything. <laughs> I didn't think it would go that fast, but this is drying relatively quickly, so let's uh. Let's see here. Why don't we start, maybe start with the shoe polish this time. There we go. Just a little bit of it.
Oh. And all right, so get the blue color. It's kind of like a oh robin's egg blue maybe. I'm not sure. I can't believe it's mid-March already. Where has the time gone? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'll tell you, this year has gone awfully fast. Well, they talk on TV about, you know, endless year and how this year has felt like 10 years and what have you. And... I don't know, for me, it's just gone so fast. I must say, there's some things that have come out of COVID that are just really cool. Working from home has been an absolute blessing. Um, virtual doctor appointments. <laughs> That's that's a concept, isn't it? I hope they keep that. I really hope they keep that. It's so much better than, you know, before I would have to take a half day off work <laughs> just for a doctor appointment, you know? I mean, with the way traffic is, it takes you, you know, 40 minutes or more to get to the doctor's office. And then, you know, you're po having to park and get in there and I always show up early you know uh, I like to get I like to get there about 15 minutes early or so you know because I, I think it's a sign you know it's it's respectful to you know be on time if not early but then you end up sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting until you know way past your appointment time and, you know, I know doc, my doctor's busy and she does the best she can, but, you know, she gets behind. And I know because she has spent more time with me than what she should have. And I know that she's been put behind. So, you know, I can't really get upset about it because, you know, uh, she's just, she's good. And she's thorough, and they don't allow enough time for visits, you know, for appointments. But, you know, virtually, in my appointments at 2, she's online with me at 2. And, you know, 15, 20 minutes, it's done, you know. I don't have to take a half day off work. I can use my, my lunch hour to visit with my doctor you know it's so much nicer so yeah I think I think a, a lot of good has come out we have found that a, a lot of things can be done electronically we don't need to have all this paper floating around all the time so yeah, I think a lot of good things have, have come out of it as far as, you know, finding out that a lot of companies, you know, they're going to continue with, you know, their employees working from home. They realize that they don't need all that physical space to, to get, you know, to get the job done you don't need all that physical space you know 
You don't need file cabinet, you know, rows and rows of file cabinets. <laughs> you know, store your documents electronically online and, you know. Unless, of course, you have, you know, stock in, in a paper industry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of moving it around here and, you know, just seeing what comes out of it. That's pretty, huh? What do you think? Boy, I tell you, I think the colors are a lot different on what you're seeing than what I'm seeing. This is, is kind of a mossy green color. Um, and that, like I said, is kind of a robin's egg blue. And then, of course, the brown uh, shoe polish. So, there. I think that is good. So, let's dry that. 